we're about to embark on the journey of a lifetime. Where are we going? Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Well, right now we're going to Las Vegas. Flying into Las Vegas. Maybe spend the night there and then we're going to explore the most gorgeous waterfall in the country. It's gonna be insane. Insane. Meeting up with 160 of the best cliff jumpers in the country. And it's gonna be breakfast. This airport attendant's really fing me over. What? Did I win? Oh my god, I won. Dollars? I just won 50 bucks. Oh my god. On that note, Mike just won 13 cents. So suck on this dude. Why you pissed, Mike? Why you pissed, Mike? I didn't win shit. Oh, he's a sore loser. Woo. Game over. Son of a bitch. Let's go send some cliffs. This is miserable. Puckers <laughs> 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 and pizza. Dick is real. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> yo, yo, uh, starting a new career in that rap game. First things first, get the hair did. Ooh. Ooh. Kill him. K mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, give me a beat. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we just showed up in Arizona somewhere at this campground. Tonight, 3 a.m., we're gonna start the hike in to the canyon, 12 miles, maybe 13 miles. Either way, it's gonna be absolutely brutal. But once we get there, it's gonna be gorgeous. Gonna huck some stuff. Thumbs up for the cornrows. 200,000 <laughs> likes on this video. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot, I know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm more worried about that than anything.
going to explore some caves, find our friends lost in the caverns. Oh my god, go down there? We went in that hole. No. <laughs> Where are you? My precious! You're so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a light? No, we're both dying. Are you serious? Yeah. So you're stuck down in that hole with no light? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say stuck, that's just like what most people would be. So if we just left you, you'd be pretty much fucked, right? <laughs> oh yeah, probably. We are balls deep in this cave right now. We are trying to find a way down to find our friends because they are down there in the shaft and the batteries right now. You scared? No. Oh, spooky. Alright, so we uh, think we know the way to get to our friends and we're gonna save them. Oh, yeah. This is little. Oh my god. I'm like not claustrophobic, but this is scary. And, th and this is the less rapey way. Are you serious? Come on, it's not so bad. It was a All right, and adrenaline addiction <laughs> cave diving. <laughs> Yo, this is insane. That this is like a mine, dude. Wait, Danny, you got an extra headlamp? No. Dude, do you know how to get back from here? This, let's go back now. This is sketchy. Is this a dead end? Is this another dead end? We're f***ing lost. Check out this view from my tent. What? Oh, the river's right there. So we just woke up. No idea what time it is because we have no clocks out here. I've kind of lost track of time all week, which is really nice actually. Wake up and we find this massive spider in our f***ing tent. Check this thing out. Look at that shit. That thing is huge. Oh, oh. Alright, I'm going to try to get this bitch out of here. Oh my god! Oh! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It just jumped on me. I think it's under my asshole. Did you see it? It literally jumped, went between my legs, and landed right there. And I don't want to move because if I sit on it, it might get mad and fight me. You got a big ass spider in my sleeping bag. So we're shaking out Jesse's sleeping bag. And we just found another spider, but this was inside her. Oh, 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 man. Wait, you don't think you're ever gonna sleep again? Mm -hmm. All right, but today, goal number one: we're going back to Havasu Falls, and we're gonna send it off the top because yesterday they had like some weird tribal, like gathering and ceremony there, and there was no way we're gonna be able to send it in front of the tribe because they are not okay with it at all. We gotta be stealth about this. So we woke up early, and now we're gonna go send some.
125 feet. Pure sex. And I'm not the f***er. It's a fatty. It's a fat mama. That was the biggest double of my entire life. Felt like a train hit me. Such a huge impact. If I stomped it, literally I'm waiting to like squeeze the gallon of water that's in my asshole out because it is very uncomfortable. I think I broke my tailbone. It hurts to walk. It's very painful. That, boys and girls, is why you don't want to go to prison. I think there's like 300 gallons of water in my asshole right now. So brutal. Why oh, do you look so sad? And you walk too fast. Aww. You can't keep up. I don't want to leave either. I'm exhausted. You walk too fast. Your legs are too long. You're too short. You're too stubby. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking back. Just got done the most amazing session of cliff jumping that's ever happened. <sighs> Going to California next, and then up to Oregon to throw down some more. Gonna ask for a better time. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chase. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to touch on a few things quick uh, before I end this video. One being, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. If you're new, please subscribe. Worked really hard on this video. Probably around 60 hours just in the editing alone. A uh, huge shout out to Cliff Life Media and LA Swims for helping this event happen. On a more serious note, I'm sure you're wondering what happened to our buddy Brad. I'm sure you noticed it said dedicated to Brad uh, in the beginning of the video. Um, this was actually his last trip with us. He was the one that sent the uh, big gainer off of Havasu that you saw. It's a hard subject to talk about, but uh, it needs to be spoken of. Uh, there needs to be awareness uh, brought to the situation, not just his situation, but overall as like a whole, as a community. Um, for anyone else that is struggling with the same thing, unfortunately, uh, Brad was, I don't know, I don't know how to say it really, but, um, so, all right. Well, our buddy Brad, uh, he was. I'm gonna first off. I'm gonna start off on like talking about Brad a little bit here. I didn't know him all that long, just a few months, but he really left an impact on me. Uh, just the main thing that stuck out about Brad is his generosity, how selfless he was. He would always, you know, just offer me crazy stuff that no one else really like would do for me. You know. He offered me to come out and stay at his place for a few days and he would take me to all these uh, cliff jumping spots. He, he even offered to pay for everything while I was out there, which was like, like blew my mind. There's a lot of little things that he would do that were just like really selfless and stuck out. But yeah, that's a quality about Brad that I really thought was special. and. Just overall, Brad was a great guy. He, uh, you know, ca he cared more about others than he did about himself. It seemed, and uh, he definitely put others first in life, which was really cool to see. Cause you don't really get to see that in people anymore. He was a genuine person, which is very rare to find nowadays. It's a tragedy that we're all still dealing with, and we're going to deal with for a while. Um, it's it's been hard on everybody in the group. And it's taking its toll. I haven't been able to sleep for the last like few nights. Um, just been thinking about it a lot. Uh, but but unfortunately, Brad took his own life. 
he, I don't know specifically what he was dealing with, but it was a surprise to everybody, and it's absolutely just devastating to all of us. His family, I'm sure, has been taking it really rough. And I just wanted to bring awareness to suicide and just to anybody else who's like dealing with stuff that is similar or, you know, just not feeling fulfilled in life or not feeling like life's worth living. Um, I've been there. I've had low points in my life. I almost had my leg amputated and I was like in the hospital for weeks and like, yeah, I was at a low point in life. I've been, I've been there. I've been depressed. I've been through some really tough times, but I've I've tried to uh, always look at the positive in in life. Um, that's for me, being optimistic, always looking at the positive side of things, keeps me going. Uh, even if it doesn't end up being true, even if the positive doesn't end up happening, at least in that moment, it helps me uh, hope for the best. And that's always kind of peaceful for me. But that's just me. Um, I, I'm not a professional. Um, some of my tips would be, like I said, always try to keep positive, even when everything around you is negative. Just keep a good attitude. Um, find something that you absolutely love. Find your passion if you haven't already. And try to, you know, make your life evolve around that passion as much as you can. And even if it's just temporary, that joy that that passion brings you will give you a reason to love life. For me, that's what gets me by. I, when I go cliff jumping, in that moment there is literally nothing else on my mind. I am just consumed by that moment. And that for me is a very fulfilling escape. I don't know if escapes are necessarily good, but we all have them. Some people, you know, use drugs, use alcohol. I just jump off cliffs. But my point is, find something that is going to excite and fulfill you, make you happy. Yeah, it sounds easy. It's not. We're all looking for happiness. Um, at the end of the day, it'll always be out there. You just gotta find it. You can make anything you want out of your life. You can do anything you want. If you put enough effort and determination into something, and my best tip to you would be to make life your bitch and keep your head up and keep fighting. You're worth a lot more to me, to your family, to anybody around you than you think. Always remember your value even though sometimes it doesn't seem so. But if you are struggling with like depression or any thoughts similar, just go get professional help. It's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something that you should worry about doing. Those people, they went to school, they dedicated their lives to help people like you. So don't, don't hesitate to go and talk to someone about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it got all depressing and, like, real. Hopefully my words had, you know, some positivity to them. And hopefully, even if I help one person with this, it'll be worth it. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. And I will catch you next Thursday. Peace.